So let's look at um, how we would apply the quick union algorithm. Here's an example where you have uh, three connected components, one, two, and that would make up um, the third one, the entirety of that. Now, what we'd like to do is, let's say that we're given another pairing, three, eight, and we want to um, go ahead and form the union of those, um, right? So we have three. The algorithm works like this. You go and you determine who his parent is, and then you have eight. The algorithm works to determine the parent of eight. They are not in the same group. Um, since they're not in the same group, we want to go ahead, right? We've just completed the find. Now that we have um, completed the find, we want to go ahead and form the union. So now, um, how do we form the union? Well, what we're going to do, the way the code is written as it stands, we're going to unite under eight or the family of eight so that the union of this will look like this. Once we're done, we're going to form the union. And so it will look like this. So those are two different um, kind of connected components. Um, so what would that look like then? Well, number one, let's first draw the ID array as it stands right now. So the way it stands right now, um, the ID of zero, well, he's not connected to anyone. He's at the top of the hierarchy. So let's just indicate that by him pointing to himself and then one is connected to his own family he's pointing to himself two is going up to nine so the id right when you go into the array the id sub two value will be nine where that indicates who his parent is so the id of two is nine the id of three his parent is four, so let's put a four in there. The ID of four is nine. The ID of five is six. The ID of six is nine. Seven is nine. Eight is zero. And nine is at the top. So the ID of nine is that. So that is the before. Now to answer this question here, it asks, what does it look like after forming the union? So that's the before. So let's think about what this is gonna, let's go ahead and in fact do what we showed earlier. Let's show what this is gonna look like. So when we form the union, um, again, you go and determine whose family three belongs to, and that's that one. And then you go and determine whose family eight belongs to, and we see that it's the zero. And so we're going to do a quick union. And with that quick union, it's considered quick because it only requires just the one operation, just a simple connection, a single change. Um, so therefore, with that single change, we have something like this. So under zero, we have um, all of these individuals now that are part of his family. So that is the result. So now what does this array look like with that change? Um, so with that change, all right, as we look at this entire set, we have zero still pointing to himself, eight is still his parent, ID of eight is zero. The ID of eight is zero. Um, the ID, in fact, everything else here stays the same. So the ID of five is still six. The ID of seven 
2 and 4 do not change. 7, 2, and 4 have not changed. Neither has 3. 3 is still going to have his parent as a 4. And 1 will still have his parent as a 1. And 6 will still have that one. So the only thing that's really changed is um, this value right here. The ID of 9 is now 0. So that is the only element that has changed. And that is um, the resulting array. So the answer to this is um, the array that we see down here. So that is the resulting ID array after forming the union between 3 and 8 using quick union.